Now lately, I have been getting a lot of queries about how to prepare for G advanced examination, which is going to be conducted on 26th of May. So exam is just around the corner. So basically it is about how to prepare and how to use maths memorizing resources. Now, some of you have been asking me for the lecture notes offline or online. I have never prepared any notes. So I do not have any notes with me, which I can share with you. If I want to prepare some topic next, I'll start taking the screenshots and maybe compile them as teaching notes. Now, some of you have been asking me about the questions in the lectures, which again, I do not have with me. So what you can do is you people can coordinate and collaborate among yourself to divide the task, capture the screenshots of the questions, compile them into a Word document and send it to me. I'll then upload it to the Maximizing website for the benefit of everyone. So this is one thing which is possible. Second question which I'm generally asked is what is the difference between symposium and compendium? Now basically compendium is theory followed by practice problems while symposium is just out and out practice. So if you need problem practice, you need symposium. And if you need theory with practice, you need compendium. So while most of the topics which are already covered have both symposium as well as compendium, but then there are some chapters which have only compendium and then there are some which have only symposium. Now I firmly believe there is no one size fits all. So each one of you have to found your own niche. You have to create your own strategies. But depending on my experience, I have broadly classified students in three categories. Now, first of them are G advanced pros. Now, these are the people who have been focusing solely on G advanced for past two, three years. Then there is second category of students who have prepared primarily for mains, but alongside they have prepared some topics in advanced. So their primary focus is J mains, but they have done some side hustle for J advanced also. And then there are third category of people who have focused solely on J mains. So they have mastered mains and now in the remaining time, they want to elevate their preparation up to J advanced standard. Now we're going to start with J advanced pro. Now for the first category of students, it is basically the crunch time. So essentially during this time, you have to revisit the materials where you have built your foundation, revise from the sources where you have done your advanced preparation, be it your coaching material or any advanced book or any teacher's notes. At this point of time, your best friends are mock tests and an error book. In the error book, what you're going to do is you're going to put down anything and everything which either you have learned new while solving a problem or, or any and every problem in which you have done some sort of mistake, whether it is a silly mistake or a conceptual mistake. So practice as many mock tests as you can and keep an error book. Now, what does maximizing offer for you? Now, since you're already prepared for J advanced, what you can do is from maximizing, you can prepare the topics in which you need more depth or practice or consolidation, such as PNC, definite integrals, or certain topics and complex numbers. For that, you can either use symposium or compendium as per your requirement. Another thing that you can do is you can download the assignments and challenge yourself. So first try and solve a problem mentally. And if you can't crack a problem mentally, then that's your cue to break out the pen and paper. So this is for the G advanced pro people. Now for those who have mixed J mains focus with some advanced preparation, first and foremost, you need to start with revision of what you have already mastered for advanced. So from whichever source you have studied for your advanced, go back to your source, revise those topics, and then prepare for the ones which you have not yet studied. Now, how these second category of students can benefit from maximizing resources. Now for you people, you can go to G advanced compendium playlist, and you can select topics which you haven't covered yet and start preparing them one at a time. Now you need to cover entire theory for the chapter. And since they are not one shot lectures, they usually have lots and lots of problem. You need to choose or leave a problem selectively. So you have to be selective while solving a problem, but then you need to cover the entire theory 
while taking up any compendium. Now, the thing you need to keep in mind is you need to prioritize easier topic with significant weightage in the advanced examination. Now, one set suggested sequence of topics could be you can start with statistics. That's a very simple topic. Then take on matrices and determinant. Matrices I have already covered. Determinants I have not covered, but then you can find n number of resources for determinant. It's an easy topic. You can cover it on your own. Then you can go to vector and 3D geometry. Before starting calculus, it's better to prepare greatest near function, graphs, inverse trigonometric function and trigonometric equations. And then you can start with limits, continuity and differentiability, application of derivatives, definite integrals and differential equations, followed by probability. Probability is one such topic where you can score a lot of marks even if you are not that great in permutations and combinations. Now in coordinate geometry, you can take circles followed by conic sections. And then depending on your good or bad topics, you can choose theory of equations, permutation, combination, complex numbers, sequence series, binomial theorem, functions, area, straight lines, solution of triangles. So this is one possible suggested sequence of topics. Many of the topics are already covered in compendium. Some of the topics are covered in symposium. As of now, do not go towards the symposium side. Just stick to compendium. And if the compendium is not available, then go to some other source and prepare these topics. Now, a large pool of students, they belong to this third category, which is J mains pro. So you have mastered your J main preparation. And now within this short duration, you have to elevate your preparation up to J advanced level. Now, if you are new to advanced, one thing you need to remember is depth trumps breadth. So rather than going after the complete syllabus, focus on strengthening your well-versed topics first. So the first thing is prepare the list of topics you are good at and the list of topics which you are not so good at. Now, once you have done that, go to J advanced compendium playlist and select topics which you are good at till mains level and start preparing them one at a time. Now you need to cover entire theory for the chapter, but again, you have to be very selective with the problem solving as it contains a lot of problems. You don't have that much time. So you need to be selective in your approach while practicing problems. Now you also need to prioritize easier topics with significant weightage in the advanced examination. So again, I'll go through those topics. Now, this is one possible sequence. Statistics is very simple. Matrices is very simple. Determinants, though we have not covered, but it is easy and you can easily master it through any other source. Vector and 3D is very important. And before starting calculus, you should refine your basics such as inequalities, logarithms, greatest linear function, modulus function, graphs, inverse trigonometry function, trigonometric equations. And then once you have done that, start with limit continuity differentiability, take on application of derivatives, followed by definite integrals and differential equation. You can take on probability also because generally in IIT, probability questions are the easiest ones, even if you are slightly shaky with your PNC fundamentals. And if you're good at coordinate, choose circles, parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. Now, theory of equations, permutation combinations, complex number, sequence series, binomial theorem, functions, area, straight lines, solution of triangles, all these topics, touch them. If you are good at those, if you have to start afresh, better leave them aside. And again, for this third set, I am reiterating, you need not cover everything, stick to your strength, keep an error book, noting everything that you have learned new, or you have made a mistake while solving problems every week. Revise whatever you have studied in that week. And for you also, mock tests are the must. Now, J Advanced Pro students, since you have already studied everything, one thing that you can additionally do is you can look for things which are beyond JE. Maybe you can look at beyond the boundaries, Math Marvel or J Delight. So no matter your starting point, Mathsmarizing is here to support your sprint to the finish. Revision and mock tests are crucial. Remember, every day is an opportunity to learn and improve. And one last thing before you go, remember, a calm mind is a clear mind incorporating just 
10 minutes of meditation into your daily routine can significantly enhance your focus and reduce stress during this crucial preparation period. So I'll put the link to the 10 minute meditation video in the description below. So if possible for you, try and meditate at least once in a day. So make a strategy and follow it. All the best. God bless you.